Hello there. Hey. Sorry I'm late. A baby was sick on my jacket on the bus. <laughs> Not a problem. Frank Wilson. No, I'm Ronald Villiers. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Frank Wilson. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. <laughs> <sighs> smells like parmesan, doesn't it? Uh, I knew he was going to do it the way the wee bastard was looking at me. <laughs> right. Well, now, uh, Ronald, we're going to be recording... The... <laughs> Just like that, it happened. It was horrible. Horrible. Do you, do you mind if we press on? Because it's going to be done by four o'clock. Oh, no, sure, that's fine. Did you get the brief? I did. Newspapers for the blind. That's right, marvellous. Right, just go through to the booth, and when you're ready to start recording, just right. hit the red button. Just hit the red button. Yes. Through to the booth. OK. <laughs> press the button as soon as you're ready to record. Press the button, press the button. <sighs> OK, here we go. Right. Oh, that's no use. That's a death. No, nope. It's a funeral. It's a stabbing. It's all bad news. Uh, Ronald, Ronald, what's, what's happening? Just trying to find a nice story. Cheer you up. Yeah. Well, uh, well, there seems to be a bit of a misunderstanding here. Uh, we'd like you to read the entire paper. From start to finish? Yes. Right. That seems a wee bit stupid. I mean, who reads the paper from start to finish? I mean, nobody does that. I mean, I usually just read the stars. Well, that's a lie. My sister usually reads it because it's bad luck to read your own, you know? <laughs> then I read the TV, then I read the jobs. Well, that's all very well, but uh, our clients need to know what's going on. Right, OK. Let me start again. From the top. From the start, OK. <clears throat> Ooh, hold the front page because it's news, news, news coming right now, right at you. Ronald, what are you doing? Well, I'm just trying to add a bit of drama because, you know, build up. Could you please maybe just read? Just read it. Just read. OK, then. 300 jobs lost at Steny Bum. Well, that's the Americans for you. They sally in here, they open up a factory. <laughs> Ten minutes later, you're out in your fat ass. <laughs> I'm just saying the Americans, they've not got any staying power. They're assholes, really, the Americans, aren't they? Ronald, just read what you see. The news isn't in open to your interpretation. Just read what I see. Aye. OK, just what I see. OK, then. I see a photograph with 300 people in it, <laughs> and their faces are tripping them. Oh, we've lost our jobs. What are we going to do? How are we going to put food on the table? This is terrible. Ronald, would you like a glass of water or something? You seem a bit nervous. Well, it is a bit nerve-wracking reading the front page. I mean, it's a big thing, you know. <clears throat> right, right, we'll, we'll do it in bits, yeah? Hey, right. Does that suit you? That suits we'll me. We'll do the horoscopes. Right, I see, I told you, horoscopes, that's the thing. OK, horoscopes. Say stars in here, but they're fine. Capricorn. Number three, and blue is your lucky colour. And at the end of the day, you will have a happy encounter. Two three-seater sofas for £500. You can't beat that. That's Jesus it. Christ! <laughs> oh, see this here? It's, it's, it's newspapers, right? You know? You know, for the blind people. They're not interested in, in sofas. Well, blind people have got to be comfy as well. I mean... <laughs> Get out. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> I'll do it myself. <clears throat> right. Crisis talks in the Middle East hit boiling point today when Carol Smiley is the fuzzy face. Get out! 